building a container. We will be working on constructing a container for the purpose of putting aside troubling thoughts, memories, emotions, current situations, or body sensations so that you don't have to carry them with you all the time. The fact is, these are coming to your awareness for a reason. It is your mind's way of letting you know that these are important issues that are unfinished and they need to be addressed. So the container is not to throw these out or to ignore them. It is simply to hold them for safekeeping until you are ready to let them out and work on them. Your container can be made of any material, any size, and it can be any shape. Even if you choose a small container, it has infinite capacity to hold whatever you need to place in it. I want you to imagine that the container has a valve, that you and only you have the ability to turn and open the container. When this occurs, it creates a vacuum that sucks whatever needs to go inside and keeps it there safely and securely. Now I want you to close your eyes and picture your container, what it's made of, the size, the shape, what it feels like, and what the valve looks like. How does the thought of having this container and the ability to safely put things away feel to you? How is your body responding to this opportunity? I want you to practice putting something small into your container first. Visualize a problem. See your container. Turn the valve and then see the problem being contained. Now I want you to practice putting something else into it. Perhaps something larger. I want you to practice using this skill whenever you need it. As with anything, the more you practice, the easier it will be for you to access it when you need it. As you practice your container exercise, remember to breathe, which is another form of self-calming.